Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is a quick, well, maybe not quick, this is an update video. Um, it's been a, a number of months since I have said anything about TFC Plus and how the update's coming. Um, and for a long time I wasn't working on it anymore. If you've been following the channel, maybe you've seen that I made a mod for uh, Civ 6. But in the last few weeks I've really, really gotten back into it and I've made a lot of progress and uh, I'd like to show you what we have. So last time I believe I demoed um, you know some of the simple sewing stuff which I was pretty happy with uh, and I talked a lot about the features I want to add. You can see on the right we have a temperature meter. Um, you can see that it's currently in the green zone which means it's reading comfortable. There's a 5 Celsius range in which you're comfortable. From about 20 to 25 you can see it's currently 23 uh, 20 to 25 is, I think, like, I want to say it's 68 to 77 Fahrenheit. So uh, if, you're, uh, if Fahrenheit is your preference, then I might put that in perspe perspective for you. So that is the assumed comfortable range when you're not wearing any of the clothing. Um, you can see that there is a yellow bar on the right. Let's look right over there, right above uh, the green. And that is where it's a little hot, but not too bad. And there's a light blue bar right below that where it's, it's, it's a little cold, not too bad. Um, if you're in, in the yellow zone, then you're going to consume water faster because you're sweating. Otherwise, no negative effects. If you're in the blue zone, you're going to consume your hunger a little faster because you're shivering. Otherwise, no negative effects. That currently doesn't work. The temperature gauge does correctly tell you um, what uh, uh, the current temperature in the environment is and what protection you have from your clothing. But I haven't gotten to the point of actually, like, penalizing players. Especially while I'm testing, it's kind of annoying if I have to worry about that. So that'll probably happen in a little bit. Uh, but there is uh, a lot more I can show you. So last time, I believe it was just, like, socks and pants or something that were working. Uh, we do now have iron needles. None of these things have names. We have, so we have a bone needle here. I'm wearing some leather pants. Um, I've actually changed the color of leather. This is, I think, a bit closer to what, like, a sort of untanned, uh, un, uh, un undyed leather might look like in real life. Sort of just like a, a raw leather texture. Uh, we have some silk here, some wool, and some linen. Uh, and uh, I think, yeah, let's get into... Let's get into some, uh, some items. So, let's start with wool. So you can see we have a lot more going on here. We have these, these wool socks. You can see cold resistance plus these wool pants, cold resistance, wool shirt, cold resistance, a wool coat. You can see heat resistance minus minus, cold resistance plus plus plus, and a wool hat. So we can put those into these slots. We actually put the coat into our actual armor slot, our shirt into this slot. We can put our pants on underneath, and these socks. Uh, the coat doesn't appear to be, or appears to be a, a little small for the pants, um, and that is, I think that just means the coat's going to have to get a little bigger. Uh, <laughs> that's what live testing looks like. But uh, we, can, we can look at how this looks. Yeah, let's take these pants off because they look kind of dumb going through the coat. But yeah, so we got the coat on. It's all white right now because it's undyed. Um, dyeing will be something you'll be able to do. Currently have not added that. You can see we got little toes on our socks. Uh, but uh, maybe maybe we don't want to be walking around in just our, our bare socks. So let's look at leather for a sec. And we actually have two options here. We have leather boots and we have these leather sandals. So let's put the boots on. You can see we actually got a little taller because uh, previously, for whatever reason in Minecraft, the, your boots would kind of go through the bottom of the floor. Uh, we can look at these and press shift and it will say uh, GUI walkable bonus 14274. That's kind of weird. That shouldn't say that anymore. Um, uh, but that shows, it's going to show that on sand uh, you have a 0% movement bonus, but otherwise you have a 10% movement bonus. So I don't know if you noticed how the screen sort of like zooms out your, your field of view changes, just like when you're sprinting. Uh, because you get to go 10% faster when you have leather boots on. Uh, by contrast, yeah, okay. At least the sandals show the sand uh, properly. They give you a 10% bonus. Um, wait, hang on. 
Zero percent. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The leather sandals are 10% on sand and 5% everywhere else, so these are a little more general purpose than the leather boots. Um, I say a little, I mean, the leather boots give you 0% on sand, but 10% on all other surfaces. Uh, these are only 5% on all other surfaces, but 10% on sand. If you think you're going to be hanging out in deserts or, you know, going onto beaches a lot, maybe sandals are the best bet. Uh, but otherwise, you see we did get a little slower there because their default speed is only 5 um, but that, that's just something you can use uh, shoes for. Um, so that's leather. We can look at linen, because we have uh, linen equipment. So let's let's take all that out. These are just the uh, the pieces that you're going to be sewing together into these final clothing sets. That's kind of tedious, and we'll see how those textures turn out. But uh, for now, not worried about it. Uh, let's put so we can put on the linen coat. So it's got a different color. Oop, that goes there. The shirt and the hat goes here. Uh, let's just for a demonstration uh, show that we can totally like wear a helmet on top of this, right? So uh, if you want to get, um, uh, yeah, the linen hat, I, I couldn't really figure out what to do with the temperature for that, so I guess it currently doesn't do anything. You can see that this linen coat is uh, heat resistance minus and cold resistance plus. Um, you can see on the right there how our temperature gauge is updating. So because this coat is a little thick uh, and it, it, it feels a little warm, when we put it on, suddenly, you know, 20 to 25 Celsius is a little is a little hot. You know, probably take your coat off if you're indoors. Uh, you're going to get a little warm. So uh, that's, that's visible there. So you can see the pants give us cold resistance. The shirt gives us heat resistance. Whereas for wool, everything gives you cold resistance. Um, it's a little more mixed with linen, whether it's like, is it, is it for cold temperatures, is it for hot, hot temperatures? So, uh, yeah. Um, we can look at, uh, oh, I did show these three, three threads, um, which, uh, you know, you can make into cloth. So silk obviously makes silk cloth, wool into wool cloth, and linen into linen cloth. Um, but, uh, I guess there is one more thread. You can't make a cloth out of it, but you can sew with it. They're just called sinew, uh, and m all animals will drop sinew when they die. What's this? Are there ghost items? Whatever. We'll figure this out, all right? <laughs> so we got some sinew here. Uh, if we go into survival mode, we can we can show that uh, you know you can you can attach that on. We could attach the silk on. We could put that on. It's all good. Um, let's take this helmet off. So yeah, let's go back and start looking at some more items. We can see we have, uh, I guess we can look at the silk. I mean, at this point I don't really need to show you what silk looks like. It's just like kind of like a, a pure white texture. It is really good for its resistances. It's pretty general. So you got heat resistance on the socks, heat resistance on the pants, uh, heat and cold on the shirt. Uh, double heat on the coat and heat and cold on the hat, so uh, it makes your green area very, very large. Um, in fact, the entire red zone, like you're, temper you're, you're comfortable in any temperature when you're wearing silk, although silk is kind of difficult to get. It requires, it's like, what, 24 silk th uh, silk strings per per silk cloth, and you got to get those from spiders, so not, not terribly easy to get silk, but it is worth it. Uh, it also is going to have the highest... Uh, uh, durability, um, because, uh, you know, clothing will, will, will eventually wear out as you wear it. Um, it should last at least, I think, an in-game year, though, for each piece. Uh, it may, you know, it may go a little faster if you take a lot of damage while wearing it without wearing any armor, but, uh, uh not much faster. So there's that. Um, we also have, oh, we have a straw hat. I can show that. We also have, uh, grass equipment. We can pick that up. Uh, we got our grass sandals. So these are very basic. Uh, it's not showing me the movement when I oh crap sticky keys. It's not showing me the movement when I uh, mouse over them. But uh, it is five percent faster on sand, and that's it. Um, oh gross! Take out these socks. Yep. So you can see just wearing some sandals. I'm not sure what's up with these ghost items. It's kind of annoying. 
Uh, we can take this stuff off. Uh, this actually has to go in the armor slot. Let's actually make it daytime. And you can't wear a shirt underneath it. Just not allowed. So if you're wearing a shirt, you can't put it on. You gotta take your shirt off and then put it on. Uh, similarly with this skirt. We have this grass skirt. And then... Oh, crud. See... Okay, so, uh, look at that, the hat does is rendering correctly, amazing what happens when you do things live, and what's this, this correctly says things, and this correctly tells you, <laughs> wow, incredible, okay, uh, but that, that's kind of a minor thing, uh, we can look at what this actually looks like in 3D, and you can see, you know, heat resistance, heat resistance, heat resistance. Uh, this stuff is going to wear out pretty quickly, but you make it, uh, it's super easy to make. It's just like with straw that you collect off the ground. Um, uh, so uh, you'll notice like the cold bar is quite a bit larger than the hot bar. And that's because I think in TFC you're generally more likely to find cold temperatures than hot temperatures. But I've only shown like, you know, cloth as being... Uh, you know, temperature resistant stuff, and that's that's not good, right? Like, what are you supposed to do if, if you don't have any uh, if you don't have any any sheep or something? Well, we're gonna look at some fur. So we can see we have this bear fur right here. Um, and we can you know start like doing stuff with it, like this to get our our. Uh, bear pants pieces. Um, that probably should say pants piece bear, but uh, again, this mod is not out yet, and this is why. Um, but, uh, you know, let's grab some of this. Uh, we can also see that uh, these are large. Um, you know, if you want to get your actual hide back, you can, you can just like scrape it off to get a, a hide. You don't get anything out of doing that. Um, it's just if you'd rather have leather than, than hide, that's what you do. Uh, but let's grab some stuff. So we have boots, we have a coat, and you may see this interesting thing. Let's put that on. Oh, let's take these off and put these on. And let's put that on. So there is a, there is a bear on our on our head now. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Um, you know, so that is your your bear stuff. You can see this minus three to heat resistance, plus five to cold resistance, plus one on the on the hat, and plus one on the boots. Um, fur boots are the only way to get a boot slot item that gives you cold resistance, and that totally stacks. If you put on like wool socks, you can see our bar over there has just gone down even more, like right over there. So that gives us some pretty serious. Uh, cold resistance, although we are really, like, you know, if I had added temperature problems, we would not be a happy person right now. <laughs> very, very hot. Um, for the wolf equipment, uh, the boots and the hat are the same. Um, also, aesthetically, they're kind of designed to look like sort of like uh, leather or skin with like a lining made out of fur, rather than like sort of inside out compared to these, which are have the fur on the outside. Uh, but, so, you know, we can we can just take a look at the hat for a sec. So, you know, there's our... There's the wolf hat. And uh, you can see here, um, one less point of cold resistance, one less point of n negative heat resistance. Uh, so this is kind of like an intermediate version of this. And then compared to this, uh, this is actually... The wolf fur coat is strictly better than the wool coat in terms of absolute bonuses. However, this will have a lot less durability. Um, for one thing, you're not tanning it. You're literally just using like raw skin, raw raw fur. So it doesn't, doesn't last too good, uh, too, oof, too well, doesn't last too long compared to, uh, uh, you know, cloth stuff. So we've got that. And uh, this, this has taken an incredibly long time. Um, I've prepared, you know, textures for when you're, you're crafting a lot of these things. Like if we had, uh, 
more uh, pants pieces. Um, oh, you know what? That's weird that the fur pants pieces aren't really appearing in here. That would be because they shouldn't exist. Did I make a fur pants piece? I did. Okay. <laughs> there are no fur pants. So that would be... That's something to remember. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, regardless, though. Um, so yeah, there's kind of like a, a view of clothing. We can see the, the beginnings of a, of a temperature system. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty fun system to play around with. We can look at the sewing, I guess, quickly. Uh, let's, for example, let's take a let's take some linen. Let's just open up the uh, the gooey, and there's our, our linen pants, same as before. Ooh, you know. Uh, we can put like yarn in here, and then actually, I'm just gonna exit this because we're in creative mode right now. Let's let's leave creative mode. Um, oh yeah, this image is still there, but can't do anything with it. Oh, there's lots of bugs you gotta fix. Them. So we should run out of like, yeah, we ran out of yarn. Um, but you know, we can put any string in here, and it'll sort of just automatically go back onto the uh, the needle, so you don't have to like lose all your progress. So yeah, we can. So it'll just let's just. I'm just gonna make make these. Um, so let's. Currently, there is no difference what string you use. I considered having a difference between the types of string. Uh, in like the durability, but it. It's, it's kind of just annoying. Uh, you. There we go. Linen pants. All right. So, you know, we had to just sew them together. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have the recipes ready for the other uh, the other equipment yet, but uh, uh I don't have the sewing recipes, but I do have the images. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's a thing. There, I guess we can look at... Just finally. Um, there are a few new things to craft. Uh, maybe we'll find in here. Da, 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 boot top. Yeah, leather straps. So leather straps, and we also saw a yeah, leather sole over here. So, uh, and somewhere was like a boot top. So the boot tops and the soles would be how you'd make boots. Uh, whereas leather straps and soles is how you make sandals. Leather straps are also how you're going to make uh, quivers and saddles. Um, because So you're going to like make the, uh, like the quiver piece or the saddle piece. And then sew the, uh, the strap onto the saddle piece and that'll make the saddle. Or sew the, sew the strap onto the quiver piece and that'll make the quiver. So that is how all of that is going to work. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I, I really want to like, show right now. Uh, this has taken me a very long time. You can see all these items they still need textures and stuff. Um, I'm working on this, you know, a lot. Uh, I'm pretty happy, except for all the bugs and stuff. Uh, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions or, uh, you know, you want to say hi, leave a comment below. Um, I, at the rate that I'm going now, I don't know, this could be out within a month, within three weeks. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching, though, guys, and I'll see you next time.